Shalom Israel. IGBK presents the Winners War Florida Cookout. December 16, 2017 at the Al Lopez Park, 4018 North Hines Avenue, Tampa, Florida. Yeah. Also, Friday, December 15th, we will be having a special class at the John Germany Library, 900 North Ashley Avenue, from 4 to 7. Don't forget to slide through. We're going to have some heavy hitters in the building. You don't want to miss this. Black, Native Indian, and Hispanic owned. Sipping that scratch pass, boots, braids, fringes, nigga, fly in first class. That UPK banner, it be flying at high mass. Take ground. Just come on out and enjoy a week. Of real brotherhood and sisterhood from Duval County to MIA to the West Coast, all the way up to the East. Come on and join us. Again, all black, Native Indians, and Hispanic only. Winners War, Florida, ICPK, where warriors dwell, home of the truth. Shalom Israel, we are the ISUPK out of 125th West Harlem, New York, under Commander General Yohanna. I'm Officer Yaiqua. Officer Yaiqua. And uh, we just are uh, here today, you know, to give y'all a, a little breakdown on what a sin is. And um, we are not affiliated with any Hebrew Israelite groups or any other Christian sects. Uh, this is the ISUPK, home of the truth. And we're going to bring out the truth today. Um, one of the topics uh, that we're going to bring out today is uh, on sin and what a sin is. Um, we're going to bring out the importance of what it is to know what a sin is and, you know, why is it so important to know. So first scripture we're going to go into and we're going to bring out is Deuteronomy 28 and 1. And what we're going to bring out of here with this right here, this is prophetic right here. This is this is a, a a prophecy that held true all the way into this day right here. And uh we're gonna find out why blacks, native Indians, and Hispanics are in the conditions that we are in today. Because when you look around you, when you look in America, I mean <laughs> for real, you know, you got the white man, he running the whole earth. Mm -hmm. He got everything he owned off murder, rape. Theft. He is the devil which the Bible speaks of. Look at the Arab. Murder. Theft. They own slaves too. Matter of fact, they still, they, they slave trade still going on right now to this day. They never stop handling slaves. Yet they own oil. They in everything hand in hand with the white man and the Chinese. Everybody has their own country. Everybody has their own way to preserve the life of their people, their own laws, rules, legislation to rule over their people, except us, so-called blacks, Native Indians, and Hispanics. We are not oppressed by one another. We are oppressed by all the other nations. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of thy Lord, thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments. To do what? To observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. Above. Stop, stop right there. It said if you would do the laws, the commandments, all that he say to observe. If you would do it, he would what? That all the, that the nation, they, they, it's lucky. The Lord command thee this day that the Lord will set thee up above, on high above all nations of the earth. Above all nations of the earth. Right now, so called blacks, Native Indians, and Hispanics, we are on the bottom of everybody else. This is what we're going through, this is what we're under. And we're going to keep bringing it out. Let me get 28 verses start at 13. 
All right, Deuteronomy, verse 28, verse 13. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If that thou hearken unto the commandments of thy Lord, of the Lord thy God. So, Lakia, read that again. I want everybody to listen to this, man. Listen to what's being said. This is talking to and telling people an instruction of people who would be, if you listen, you will not be on the bottom. You're going to hear every officer in the ISUPK explain how we on the bottom. You're going to hear every officer in the ISUPK explain how we get there. If you, if you want to challenge it, go ahead. Just go find me a, 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 a literal and truthful we reason of why we in the predicament we in. This Bible telling you. Read that again. Right. Deuteronomy verse 28, verse 13. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only. S stop right there. I will make you the head and not the tail. And you will be above only. Meaning, we would never have to see the bottom. You know how the rappers started from the bottom, now we hit, listen. We will be on the top. You will come from out of your mother's womb on top. Do you understand what I'm saying? Can you imagine that black man, Hispanic man, Native Indian man, being born into rulership? When white children are born, they are born into rulership over the whole earth. When the Arab child is born, he is born into rulership, man. Because he's in his own land. They got a president right now in the White House, Donald Trump. He ran a Hitler-style campaign, man. And the only thing he said his whole campaign was, I hate blacks. I hate Hispanics. Those Indians over there, we're going to put your pipeline. We're going to forget the treaties. This is what we're going through. This is what we're under. And we're going to keep bringing it out. Let me get 28 verses start at 13. All right, Deuteronomy. Verse 28, verse 13. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only. And thou shalt not be beneath. If that thou hearken unto the commandments of thy Lord, of the Lord thy God. So like you, read that again. Uh, I want everybody to listen to this, man. Listen to what's being said. This is talking to and telling people an instruction of people who would be, if you listen, you will not be on the bottom. You're going to hear every officer in the ISUPK explain how we on the bottom. You're going to hear every officer in the ISUPK explain how we get there. If you, if you want to challenge it, go ahead. Just go find me a, 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 a literal and truthful we reason of why we in the predicament we in. This Bible telling you. Read that again. Right. Deuteronomy verse 28, verse 13. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only. S stop right there. I will make you the head and not the tail, and you will be above only, meaning we would never have to see the bottom. You know how the rappers started from the bottom, now we hit, listen, we will be on the top. You will come from out of your mother's womb on top. Do you understand what I'm saying? Can you imagine that black man, Hispanic man, Native Indian man being born into rulership? When white children are born, they are born into rulership over the whole earth. When the Arab child is born, he is born into rulership, man, because he's in his own land. He has his resting spot. Go ahead. And thou shalt not go, go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day to the right hand or to the left. To go after other gods to serve them. Go ahead. 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, 
that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. It said all these curses, and it goes in for the edifying of you to better read and understand. It goes in and it tells you about all the curses, all the things that will be happening, happening to the to the people of the of, of the Lord, and their consequences for not keeping these law, statutes, and commandments. What people on earth are more downtrodden than us? <laughs> Show me a people, man. Show me a people, man. We living over here in America, the greatest kingdom to ever be created, and we live in like third world citizens in a country that our ancestors built, man. And you trying to tell me that we not the people of this Bible? Curse shall not be in the field, man. Cursed when you go to work, man. Your ancestors was cursed when they was out there in them fields picking that cotton, man. Our going in and our going out is not happy. It is not a wonderful feeling. So we're going to jump in and we're going to show you exactly why and what a sin is and why you should keep them and how to keep them. Let me get 1 John chapter 3, start at verse 4. And this is to kill the Christian doctrine, man. And it's very important and it's very heavy that you all understand this. We need y'all to understand this, man. And if any of you Christian pastors are watching this, hand over your keys, man. Grab up your keys and find the nearest ISUPK school near you and hand over those keys to Commanding General Yohanna, man. So we can get our people up out this hell. Because as we just read, unless we keep these commandments, unless we be perfect, like Christ said, we will not come out of this hell hole, man. We have to keep the laws that was given to us because they benefit us. I ain't seen a white child yet suffer for slavery. Not one. So we're going to keep bringing it out. Bring out that first John. Huh? First John, chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. Read it again. Whosoever committed sin Transgresses also the law. Whosoever committed a sin transgresses the law. The same things we've been, re been reading about these commandments, these laws, and these statutes. If a sin simply is if you break one of these laws, you have committed a sin. You have transgressed the law. You've broken it. Go ahead, read on. For sin is the transgression of the law. Christ came into the world to take away our sin. What was a sin? The transgression of the law. Christ came to what? To show you how to keep the law. Christ did not come to take away the law. Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. For I come not to destroy the law or the prophets. Christ did not come to take away the laws that was given, man. He came to show you how to walk in them. This Bible is telling you, if you really love the Most High, you'll keep His commandments and you won't break them. Christ died once, man. How dare you put him back on that cross again and again and again and again because you want to have the lust of the world. For all that is in the world is the lust of the eyes and the lust of the flesh. Come on and learn black man, Hispanic man, native Indian man, how to love your people, man, and to serve the Lord. IShoePK.com. Go there now. Run to it. Find a school near you. And with that, Shalom. Shalom. 
till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. One west till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. They ain't scaring me. Rip the soul out of Pharisee. Speaking heresy, it get you fucked up apparently. It's like they daring me. I said chill, they ain't hearing me. They ain't listening. Every bar nitroglycerin. Hit your heart, bring it back to start, make you live again. Get them dividends, so we start getting ignorant. I be on that soldier shit. I told you shit phenomenal. Nobody a domino, so what you suck trying to do? Rhyming comical, guess it's funny until I'm bombing you. Bring apocalypse to them pussy niggas that's popping shit. Team my all stars, I coach him up like I'm Popovich. Fuck the politics and the lobbyists and apologists. They vagina, so we gon' check them like gynecologists. It's kinda obvious how the situation is ominous. The way I vomit this and regurgitate for the audience. They start applauding this cause the competition is fraudulent. From the era where niggas smoke you up like a parliament. The flow been stupid, shit's gotten retarded since. All the dominance, one west rising to prominent. Cause I be one west to the death, to they bury.